Foods. That's phenomenal. Stuart Varney, anchor of Varney Company, Fox Business Network. You're going through the numbers, down 6,000 now. Stuart, what does that tell you? Do not grasp at straws. Do not take a 6,000 reduction on a week-to-week -week basis in the new jobless claims figure. Don't take a mere 6,000 deduction as a positive signal. 361,000 new faces on the unemployment lines is still way too high. It still implies far too many layoffs in this economy. And the bottom line is that the economy is still weak, it's sluggish at best, and these numbers actually confirm precisely that. Uh, sluggish, that would suggest yep. stagnation. Little movement there, little significant improvement at all. Look, uh, it Does up. it suggest the jobs are coming back to you or not? No, it does not. A 1.5% growth rate for the economy, a rising unemployment rate at 8.3%, and still 360,000 plus new people filing unemployment claims. That is not a, a pretty picture in terms of employment. It's a grim picture. You are 89 days away from an election. Politically, Romney team, Obama team. How does each side sell this number? Well, they're both going to play with this number. I would suggest, I've not seen yet, but I would suggest that President Obama will say, look, down 6,000 jobless claims, we're going in the right direction. I would expect Governor Romney to say the opposite, that this, uh, this uh, jobless claims number is a signal of failure. Mm. You say the revised number went higher yeah. yet again. The revised number is the number when they go back into previous weeks and sometimes even months. Yep. And, and adjusted based on different information and data they're taking in. You say it's a pattern to go higher. Yes. Why? Th there is a pattern that the previous week goes up so that the current week looks better because it might go down. Now, some people think that the m numbers are being manipulated. I don't believe that one bit. But there is a pattern of adjustment of last week's numbers, which make this week's numbers look a little better. Mm. There is a pattern. All right. uh, we'll see. Job market, we find 15% of Americans are unemployed or underemployed. That amounts to 23.5 million Americans. Average Americans spending nearly 39 weeks unemployed. So if you lost your job today, that would mean you would be jobless until May of 2013. Whoa. Whew. Normally when you have a recession, you put in place policies that cause a quick rebound after the recession is over. When Ronald Reagan was president, for instance, unemployment got up, I think it was to 10.6%. But then it came roaring back, the economy did. As many as a million jobs a month were created. And we got back to a level of employment that uh, showed people that America's economy was strong and vibrant and that people could go back to work. But this president's policies have not done that. And a little more context. Back in February 2009, the president said, if I don't have this done in three years, there's going to be a one-term proposition. Well, since January 2009, the economy is down 316,000 jobs and $5.2 trillion have been added to the national debt. So